Hi, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color expert and e-design consultant. Today we're going to take a look at Sherwin-Williams Dovetail. Dovetail, even though it looks charcoal, is actually a warm gray paint color, not a cool one. And if you followed me for a while, you'll know that every gray has undertones and Dovetail is definitely not an exception, even though its undertones are very, very passive. So along with that soft warmth, you can expect a little tiny wink of purple. It's super not committed to it and it can sometimes pick up, I say a flash of green, but that's more about me being anal and it's not something to really expect. For me, the key is that dovetails the type of gray paint color that won't go blue. A lot of people complain that their grays are turning blue. Dovetail's not one of those grays. Now, as for LRV, dovetail sits at 26. If you don't know what LRV is, it's light reflectance value. It's a number that every paint color has on a scale of zero, which is black, to 100, which is white. With dovetails sitting at 26, it's a medium depth paint color, but it's a solid medium depth. So it's got a little bit more meat on its bones. You could absolutely paint an entire room this color to be striking and super contrasting with white trim. You could do it feature wall, kitchen islands, kitchen cabinets, front doors, and exteriors. Now on an exterior, you can expect dovetail to look lighter than you'd expect, and that's just via the natural light hitting it. But it's something to note that if you have it on a feature wall and love it, it's gonna come across different on your exterior. It's also gonna shift based on exposure. So if you have north facing light, dovetail will lean a bit more into its gray base without going cold. It will never look like a cold icy gray, which is one of the reasons why I love it. If you have south facing light, you know, afternoon western light, so those nice warm yellow golden lights coming in your window, it's gonna lean warmer, but it's never gonna look like a super taupey warm gray. Now, on that note, the best way to pick a paint color is comparison. So I want to show you that next step warmer to show you how charcoal gray dovetail is. So this is Benjamin Moore Metropolis. So you can see it has a bit more depth, so that means it has a slightly lower LRV. It also has a bit more warmth, so a bit more brown in it, along with a touch more purple. If you have, um, you know, the, the older style granite countertops, and even some of the popular laminate countertops, dovetail can be a little gray for those, even though you want to make it work because it's so pretty, sometimes it's a bit gray, whereas Metropolis often has that little wink of warmth that they want. Let's also look at the slightly darker gauntlet gray. So say you put this up and it's on your cabinets, on your exterior, you're going, hmm, it's a bit lighter than I wanted. You might look at gauntlet gray, which for all intents and purposes is like the medium dark version of dovetail. So they have similar bones, different depth. Now let's look at the white paint colors I'd partner with dovetail. My favorite choice would be high reflective white. So if I'm looking for trim, cabinet, that kind of thing. Now of course you wanna make sure it drives with countertops and whatnot, but I love the clean look of high reflective white. If I want a slightly softer approach, I'm gonna look at pure white. And by the way, I have color reviews of these on my YouTube channel and on my blog, so you can read about them and see photos. So there's pure white. So let's compare. Humor me for a sec here. Okay, so I don't know if it shows up well in video, but pure white, a little bit softer. It has a bit of a lower LRV, high reflective white. So one is a cleaner look, one is a slightly softer approach. What you have to be careful of with dovetail is the warm, creamy whites. Some of them you can just squeak in, like Sherwin-Williams Alabaster, you can just squeak it in, but you can see how the warmth of Alabaster, because it has a yellow, creamier base, slightly activates the undertones in dovetail, and the undertones in dovetail kind of activate the warmth of Alabaster. So you have to be very careful, and that's another reason why I lean to the other cleaner looking whites. So that is Sherwin-Williams Dovetail. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have a full color review on my blog if you want to check it out. And you're welcome to follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.